How's it going everyone? Welcome back to the Black Metal Rebellion and I am your host Jesse Morgan. Today we are going to be doing a review of Apognosis' Phase 6 album and a little bit of a review for the Cult of Human Sacrifices EP from 2018. Now if you don't know who Apognosis is, uh, they are a one-man black metal band from Athens, Greece. Uh, the one and only member is only known by his initials MN and he does all the vocals and all the instrumentals and I'm assuming probably all the engineering and mastering and mixing and all that shit too so kudos to him on that. Uh, so we're just gonna jump in and do the normal vocals, guitar, bass, drums kind of analysis here. Uh, with the vocals you get a raspy mid-range growl with some uh, reverb on it. Uh, he also includes the odd spoken word part here and there throughout. Um, it's performed consistent and uh, really well. He has a kind of a mid-high mix with the vocals, kind of on par with the guitars. And uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty good stuff. Uh, the guitar is mostly tremolos, melodic riffs, and some dissonant chords here. Uh, there's different kind of neat parts on certain tracks like uh, some layered riffing uh, to create that wall of sound. Um, you can notice that one in the track, Divine uh, Seduction. Uh, he has this kind of sick main driving riff in Secrets of the Universe. And that song also kind of ends with this pretty neat acoustic ending riff. Um, there's also a cool dual pinch harmonic part in Ixion, as well as a kind of slow, soulful solo in Apophenia. So there's quite a lot of different things that's brought to the table with the guitars and the Phase 6 album. Uh, the bass in uh, the Phase 6 album is kind of low in the mix, but it's also pretty noticeable if you're looking for it. Uh, it's kind of a clean and plucky bass sound. Uh, it kind of gives that extra punch with the drums. Uh, it complements the snare and the kicks well. Uh, as for the drums, uh, they're really well performed, but I feel they're kind of overshadowed by the guitar and a little bit by the vocals. Uh, it has a very prominent snare sound, very a very punchy pop kind of hit with it. Uh, the double kicks performed well, uh, but I feel they could have been like a little deeper and more punchy sounding. Uh, the thing with the drums in this album is it's a kind of a bit of a missed opportunity with having live drums uh, as they kind of get pushed to the, the background and a little bit less of the musical focus. Uh, I feel the focus is more on the guitar riffs and maybe on the vocals. Um, now that's not kind of going against anything with the drums. I feel like I said they're performed well. Uh, what the uh, what M N is doing with the drums is really good. He's you know he's adding all the you know good cymbal work, good snare work, good double kick work, uh, the odd quick little fill here and there. So it's it's not the performance uh, that I have a little bit of an issue with. It's I guess it's maybe with the mixing and the the sound of the drums. Uh, but all in all, it's, it's still a better love story than the drumming on Judas Iscariot's first couple of albums. So there's that. Now, my couple of favorite tracks on the, uh, the, the Phase 6 album I've got to be uh, track number three, which is Ixion. Uh, once again, Ixion has that kind of like double pinch harmonic thing that goes on in it. Uh, I like number four, Apophenia. Uh, it has that, um, what did I say it had in it? <laughs> oh yeah, it has that kind of neat slow solo uh, guitar thing in it, but it also has a couple really, really good riffs in there. And then number five, or track number five, The Secret of the Universe has that kind of like uh, driving riff throughout at least for the first like almost two and a half minutes of the song and then it cuts off into a couple other riffs and then they bring it back hard at the end again uh, sounds like kind of like a, a building uh, riff but there isn't too much like different parts added onto it but it feels like it builds and builds that riff for some reason but I really really enjoy it really cool stuff uh, as for the uh, Cult of Human Sacrifices EP the track that I like most off of that is Necrogenesis. There's only two tracks on it. One Necrogenesis and the other being... Oh boy, what, what was it called here? 
catalysis Cat catalysis yeah um but yeah the uh the there's a decent production on the phase six uh album the and it's like it's pretty good for black metal gotta say very solid uh at times it has the uh the album has kind of like these Dim Mysterious Dumb Satanas feel uh, by Mayhem here and there, like guitar wise. Um, each track has its own like unique flavor on it, has its own little thing that distinguishes itself from all the other tracks, but it has an overall general uh, sound that gets cohesive to the whole album. So you can definitely tell it's part of the same album. It doesn't seem like a like a compilation from different things all mushed together, but each track definitely has its own personality. Um, now, as for the Cult of Human Sacrifices EP, it's uh, it felt darker, it felt more claustrophobic. The EP's production went a little more lo-fi, a little muddier, and it, uh, its vocals had a little more like gravelly, throaty sound to them. And it just overall had a sense of sinister urgency. It was a lot more evil than Phase 6. And it was basically a haunting, anxious experience in general. Uh, not exactly sure why. It's just, it's just the overall atmosphere that I felt from the, that EP. And if that's the future of Apognosis, uh, we're in for some scary, uh, like, haunting music for sure. Uh, and in comparison to each other, the Phase 6 album seemed a little bit more hopeful, a little more triumphant riffs, a little more kind of upbeat music, uh, black metal wise, whereas the Cult of Human Sacrifices EP, like I said, felt kind of like it took all of the, the joy and all of the triumphant kind of epic riffs that were in this and kind of just stripped it away made you feel like hopeless made you feel like I, like I said suffocating and kind of claustrophobic it's a little bit darker and muddier production it's just an overall more grim feeling um ep and release so that was pretty neat to hear the contrast between the two different albums but it it still had that apognosis feel uh one was just more darker and bleak and the other one was more like triumphant and like empowering feeling so it, it's cool to see that mn could really you know dip his toes in both worlds of black metal there um uh, now i'm gonna give this a strong eight out of ten for both releases i personally enjoyed the phase six stuff more but if the next step for apognosis is a blending of phase six and and Cult of Human Sacrifices in the next full length, I think we're in for a treat. Now, the only improvements that I could see that could possibly be put towards this, uh, this these couple of releases are maybe make, make an equal amount of focus mixing-wise on the drums, because like I said, I, I'd love to hear the, the double kicks a little bit more, um, maybe a quieter, more consistent snare volume, because that points that one like kind of... Uh, snare crack seemed a little bit louder than everything else but then other times it kind of like got buried in the mix uh even of like the drums in general so maybe a more consistent drum mixing sound um and don't get me wrong once again the the way the drums were performed excellent i'm just kind of critiquing the the mix and the way it sounded uh, with everything else thrown in there so like kudos to your performance on the drums you know how to fucking play them obviously dude so kudos to you um and the other thing maybe that could improve and add to the fucking spiciness of this project in the future could be like maybe a variety uh in the vocal styles and variations but we kind of got a different side of apognosis vocals in uh the cult of human sacrifices so maybe mix some of the stuff that was in phase six with the cult of human sacrifices and there you go that'll just do it anyway so uh it seems like they're going in the right direction now you just need to mix in my opinion you need to mix phase six with cult of human sacrifices to get your full kind of apognosis feeling and full kind of sound and bring all that to the table uh but that's just my opinion 
you know every artist is different you might be trying to go towards a darker more bleaker sound or that could have just been the feel for that ep i guess we'll find out in the next apognosis release but you know either way strong eight out of ten uh i'm jesse morgan and i did buy these releases so for glory for the rebellion slammerella out